Hey YouTube, it's uh, Monday, November the 10th. Um, this is the first time since my last video I've tried to light the stove. It's been raining and snowing off and on. Uh, it's currently heading for about uh, 9 degrees Celsius. Um, I'm, it's just getting going here and it looks like it might actually take off. Um, so from what I had noticed last time I thought I'd start a video um, see what I can do here it's uh, pretty obviously still damp and um, not not super vigorous yet but uh, I'm gonna throw some wood chips and whatever down in this hole here and see um, I've already spent a fair amount of time it seems just trying to get it to uh, kind of take off a little bit and uh, so yeah I'll uh, do this here and there now I do want to try to get a pot of water on it and see what happens if it'll get uh, fired up as red hot as it was the other day all right I'll see. all right so here we are it's almost lunchtime um, basically since I first showed this it's been pretty well an hour and I actually ended up putting it right out I thought I had it starting to go um, and it's just, I don't know, maybe it's just that cold, or it's the funny wind directions we're having, or it's the fact that everything I put in there seems to be so, so wet. And it's just, uh, I mean, it's kind of slowly building up its heat and taking off. Um, but I was going to make sure it had lots of fuel in it, and I was going to go in for lunch, so I thought I'd take a shot here. Um... Not much really to see from this end yet. So, uh, that's that. We'll be back. YouTube, it's been a weird and wacky day. Um, it's, uh, fairly, it's after dark anyway. Um, and I ended up coming back and relighting this stove. I went through a bit of the lighting process earlier today. It was a real pain. Um, I just went, I was burning up some of these, uh, pine or spruce branches they're uh, a lot tougher to break up than I thought um, kind of hurts the hands after a while so I went and grabbed a little bucket of uh, some wood chips I think there's some maple some pine who knows what all um, not super dry but not uh, not real big which is nice because I'm lazy and it's also why I made the end of this the uh, the way I did was so I could drop things in to burn um, and also put long pieces in. Um, what I wanted to show you though, I don't know if you can see that and I'm not sure how close I want to get. The uh, That is a cherry red glowing thing and um, it's hot. It's amazing. Um, and it actually looks like it may have cooled down a degree since uh, I first noticed it. And I just reloaded the stove, so I've probably cut some of the oxygen back. The um, insulation seems to be insulating. And uh, so that's better than I was thinking. Although, I must have got it a bit thin here and over here. Um, and then I did, I burned off some more of this masking tape here but that's all kind of like known masking tape held insulation issue so nothing too surprising i'm gonna go grab actually my uh propane slash steam tank machine there and see if i can get it to sit on top of here without burning myself and see if i can produce a little steam um it takes it's a big steel it's a regular barbecue propane tank, but it seems to take a long time to heat up. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to go and grab it and stick it up here and see if we could uh, pump a little steam. And if that's the case, uh, i got a real hankering to see if my little steam engine would fire up. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, that's the, uh, what is this, relight number three of the day. Okay, I'll talk to you. I thought I'd show you a couple of pieces of uh, T-bar fence post. I just kind of set them across the top here. I'm going to take this tank and set it up. Alright. 
I uh, finally got this thing set up here and I should have checked the time before I started recording. Um, it's a bit more of a balancing act than I was hoping. I don't know if you can hear it, it instantly started making that sizzly noise. Makes for quite a tall unit. Um, and I am getting some smoke out of this stuff. Some of it I know is moisture. Also, I've never tried burning pine in a rocket stove before. And uh, usually I stick to the hardwoods. But uh, this just so happens to be what I had kicking around. And I tell you, there's a black waft of something comes off of there. Um, and it's pretty potent. Um, anyway, I'm going to check the time. And uh, I'm going to try to track this and see... You can already see some condensation trying to build up. Now, whether this is going to actually boil tonight or not, I don't know. It's pretty cold outside. I haven't built... I wanted to put a shield around, actually, and send the smoke up through here. But um, I figured if I had it lit, I better put something on it because that's just the type of person I am. So, yeah, that's that. Here's hoping, uh, here's hoping I haven't snuffed that fire down too low. All right. YouTube, I think it's been about an hour and a half here. It was about 8 o'clock last time I did a little video here, and it's now uh, pretty well 9.30. Um, I had to go back to using some sticks. The grain, I remember this from other experiments I've done, um, and I had even put some wood chips in, but uh, what happens is when it burns, it kind of off gases and goes to this charcoalish state, but because it's so small, it doesn't continue to really burn hot. Um, it's it, it's like a charcoal where it burns hot right there, but then it doesn't seem to let the heat go much further. So I've gone back to breaking up some sticks here. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. Maybe if I come around. Um, I did burn a bunch more of my tape off, and the one thing I didn't note earlier about the rock sole is once it's hot enough, um, it kind of grabs the form of whatever has been wrapped around if it's been bound fairly tight and uh, It will then hold that um, Yeah I don't know why I can see Myself how red that pipe is in there. It is red hot in fact at one point uh, a little bit ago I had it so red I was getting nervous that uh, it might actually start to weaken Um but yeah, it's not showing up on camera, so so be it. You can see maybe from this vantage point that it's uh, it's pretty hot. And um, ambient air temperature. I mean, this is just getting so it's pretty warm on my hand now. Um, now whether that's going to uh, transfer into a uh, nice gush of steam coming out there, I don't know. I'm starting to lose hope. I've hit this thing pretty hot a couple of times. Gotten sidetracked and uh, gone back to feeding it, and uh, so I'm not sure. Uh, it might just be too cold, and I might need to do, um, like I say, I want to build like a, a cowling around if I'm going to use a container like this, and I still would like to put a couple of rounds of pipe in the stack here. Uh, maybe something I could remove and then set in once everything's hot um, so that it doesn't take me a lot longer to get things going and then if I had sort of a semi insulated shield to uh, send the the uh, heat up and keep the cool off the sides it might just be what I need to make this work a little bit nicer but anyway this might be the last one for the night um, We'll see. If something drastic happens, then I may come back. Although, look at that. Can you see that or not? I am getting the odd huff of steam. I may be in some kind of business here soon. All right, uh, I'm gonna go in case she gets going because if it does, I might just still go get the steam engine. Um, which you will find a video on my channel about. Okay, bye. Well, YouTube, Spike here. I did get some steam. As you can see, 
a bit stinky, but I'm letting the fire go down. The old steam engine's rolling good. Everything seems to be working fine there, but I have a fitting that's gone bad, and it's letting huge amounts of steam by. So I'm going to have to revisit that um, when it's not like late, late at night. Um, so I'm going to let this vent kind of stinks. This is one of the better tanks of steam I've had in a while. Um, I've had pretty good steam generators before, but uh, I don't know why I can't just leave them. I always end up having to revamp them thinking I'm going to improve it or change it in some way shape or form or something and uh, needless to say I'm going to call it a night so that's that story and I think I'm going to end up trying to change to all steel or copper um, and if I'm going to run this kind of a setup with this tank on here I actually want to change um, the height of my motor in fact I've even thought about mounting it somehow um, on top of the tank or somewhere near the heat because it seems like it takes a while to get this thing because of the small amount of steam or air depending but steam in particular um, takes a very small amount and so uh, it being an old weed eater motor uh, it tends to take a fairly long time to get hot enough to leave that steam intact till it at least gets through the intake process um, so yeah Got to do some revamping and uh, we'll carry on. Um, we'll talk to you.